fans of pirates growing up as kids, what was your favorite pirate movie or book? As a kid? As a kid or even as a teenager. I, I remember when I was little, I had a... Like a, a, a like really little, I had a Treasure Island like find the treasure book, kids book that my mom and I, my mom would sit with me in bed and read with me. And I remember that was the most magical book that I had. I don't remember exactly what happened, but it had maps and you had to find the treasure. It was just, it, it was really cool. So at a very very early age. You know, I think probably my the the, the thing that. That I connect with, with, with pirates it doesn't even have that many pirates in it, but it's 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 kind of a more of a figurative thing. In, in the Goonies, like one I really, you know, <laughs> you know, like he's, he's you're always talking about him. You're always talking about him in the show, and, you know, in, in the movie, and they're, and they're trying to go find all that. Like you only see it when you see him. You know, he's, he's a skeleton, right? And I remember they, they pulled the, the patch over, and like a, like a rat runs out of his eye. Or but but I think mean, they actually talk to the, to the skeleton, and I think that that's what I've always seen. So I don't think I was ever caught up in the the, the whole like broad R pirates that people talk about. I feel like I've always thought of them as like these real people who lived the way they wanted to and died the way they wanted to, and that's what we're doing. And uh, so I'm. I'm Really excited to be a part of the of the show that's that's making pirates real again, and and that's uh, that's honoring who they were uh, as real people, not as as a cartoon. Because to be honest, like, these guys would roll in their graves if, if they saw the giant in the back of the uh, today. That's not that that's not what they stood for. But uh, the show is um, Peter Pan, which may explain a lot, <laughs> because I want to live forever and I want to remain a young child, but I also want to play with the Indians and that will come or be one of them. So um, Peter Pan was probably my first, but I mean, I love stuff like uh, Captain you know, all the sword play and all that, you know, and those classic <laughs> films, you know, that actually adventure for his own stuff, you know, so um, that's where it's done for me. But I think this, I think Zach had the nail there earlier on. I think this, this show is going to change people's definition of the icon of what the pirates, who they really were, and how they really lived. And, and if you think about it in these terms, just the idea of setting off across the Atlantic Ocean in a wooden boat, <laughs> powered by the wind, managing to navigate to these as yet unknown and uncharted places. That task alone, can you imagine if we were to try that today? It would it's how they survive at sea and managed to navigate across the world is extraordinary. Captain Cook was from Yorkshire. I come from Yorkshire. Cook was this, this how they managed to navigate Australia and Alaska and all over the world in these and as big as they are the sets that we've got. If you've ever been out in a big boat in the big ocean, which I have, it's terrifying. It is. You are literally in a big storm. You are, to, you are looking at the rage of nature, you know, into the density. So how they managed to survive and do that, you can only admire their courage, their skill, their dedication to going off into the unknown. It's an amazing. Right, I mean, most of us would have a heart attack if we left. <laughs> If we left right here and, 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 and left our phone here, <laughs> yeah. didn't have our phone, right? And these guys had nothing. They're in a boat that is made of wood. And when it got, when it hit a rock or a reef, it went down, and there was no call that could be made. You know, there was no, no SOS. There was, you know, there was, there was nothing. You know, um, so I think that I think there's. Uh, how can you not have respect for that? So, on a personal level, for each one of you, as you delve into these characters, is there anything that you've been surprised to learn about yourselves? Yes. <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> Now I'm curious. <laughs> uh, I think it was what. Well, I mean, 
I think uh, every part that you play in your life changes you. So it stays with you forever, at least for me. Um, and uh, I, I guess, I guess I was surprised how uh, how I how I how much I understood. Uh, these guys and and how much I agreed with them. Um, you know what I mean? I, that, that was that was uh, that was I guess what I uh, discovered myself was that I was like, yeah, I, I understand this and I, and I and I and I and I see what these people are doing and uh, I think I think there's something good about this, even though there's some horrible things that are being done too. Um, I just just that I just that I. I, I guess that I connected with pirates in a way that I didn't realize I did. You've always known you were a pirate. I thought I was a cowboy. <laughs> and then I was like, no. wait. Uh, I'm you're a pirate. <laughs> Can I be both? So I've been trying to make yeah, a little pirate. bit like the cowboy. They're going to make a spin off movie, and it's going to be like pirates and cowboys. It's <laughs> totally that time in yeah. history. Yeah. Totally like, cowboys and, like cowboys and aliens. Aliens and cowboys. Vikings and aliens. It's very accurate, absolutely. Well, you know, they, they did exist at some time. They could have. They could have actually. Yeah. Pirates were pirates, so yeah, they did. Just pitch it to Black Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Talk to Michael Bay about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's something that that's a really funny that's question. Yeah. I, can't really I somehow I came. Up, I just came up with an answer. <laughs> I know. I know. I really. I really and, I really. and it wasn't the none of your business one. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> no. 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 You use this real one. Yeah. No. I'll, I'll say this because it's true. Yeah. Uh, you were sitting over there and said it. Um, I've worked with some very good directors and some very good actors. This, without doubt, is probably one of the, the best ensemble casts you are ever going to find working together on a show. And by magnitude, if you throw Michael Bay and stars together, you get an eight-hour movie. Not an eight-hour TV show, this is an eight-hour film. But on a scale which probably dwarfs most things, including Spartacus and stuff that stars have done previously. Yeah. So for me, the joy was finding all of these other actors coming, well prepared, committed, and literally throwing in their best game. And that helps you as an actor, it brings you up to the different level because you get to play these aspects of the character you're playing at the best you can. So the humor, the, the, the violence, the tension, the drama is made more so by working with the ensemble. And that to me was. I think I think all of us would agree with that. That maybe one of the most giddy moments in my career as an actor, where I was so happy about what the future held, was the moment we walked out of the first read through of episode one, and we actually got to because we'd all read it, and we got to hear it out loud with everyone playing their part, and we all like stood outside and after. Like, this is gonna be a really good show. Like everyone's good. It's just really good. That literally yeah. happened. Yeah, literally, and we're all just like, this is gonna be good. People are gonna like this. You know, like, and and that excitement, I think, is uh, is something that's rare and uh, in, in anything, let alone in a working life. And uh, I think you guys will see it on the screen. Do you think also uh, what you were saying about pirates earlier um, that kids will enjoy it, or do you think I it's children? Children? <laughs> no, it's not a show at all. No, no, I have children and they will not watch. <laughs> not until much later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a very adult. Yes. Wrap up. Maybe one more question. I don't know what the rating is, but I think it's mature. Yeah, at, at least. Thank you. Thank you very much. You two guys are sitting here quietly, hoping not to get noticed. So just, one, just one question. Come on now. How do you prepare to be a part? You're born to be a pirate. <laughs> you secretly want to be a pirate, don't you? That, who doesn't want to be a pirate? Pirates aren't made. They're born. Yeah. You just want to be a pirate. There you go. No, you, I think you prepare uh, to be a pirate. Sure. Differently depending on the uh, you know, someone like Mark who was uh, a trained swordsman who used to train people to fight swords didn't have to do much sword work, whereas I had to learn how to use a sword, you know, because that's a very important part of the process. Uh, you know, for me, physical work, accent work, uh, and a lot of conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of wrong <laughs> Life in Cape Town is tough, I can tell you. Oh, horrible. Terrible. So how did you see it? Terrible. Yeah. 
so lucky. Great crew. Let's get a shout out to the crew. Yeah, the that's crew another thing. The Cape Town crew. Magnus. Yeah, I mean everything. Yeah, you know, it's it's really it's really remarkable to get to work with people. I mean, if, if you if you look at the the depth of the crew we have and the actors we have and the productions that we've all been involved with, it's really remarkable. Our, our second unit director, for God's sakes, shot all of her fight sequences in the gladiator. You know what I mean? It's like you know you're so. That's the that's the kind of people you go to work with, and, and you meet somebody, and you, you're, you're talking with them for, you know, you've been hanging out with them, working with them for like, you know, six weeks, and then someone's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah he, he did all this stuff in the back. What? You're like Nick, dude, you're amazing. You, did, you know, because like, you, so that scene that you did, how did, yeah, how did you do that? And he's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> makeup, makeup, all from Harry Potter, yeah. makeup supervisor, yeah. sets designed by Wolf, who got nominated for an Oscar for. Uh, uh, last the Mohicans. I mean, this is an, an A team production. Well, you've got Toby Stevens, who is no, Toby. not not shabby oh, himself. No, <laughs> no, let me tell you. No, he oh, we, we wish he was right. here. Uh, he, he wishes he was here. Too. Yeah, he yeah. wishes. He's on stage yeah. in London right now. I can't go. Not surprising. Just in, and yes. just in case you are a Toby Stevens fan, I have to tell you, he is ginger. He's what? Ginger. Oh, of course. Well, your mother is, of course, absolutely. You know, I hope that hasn't ruined No, not at all. I, I took a lot of, I gave him a lot of stick for that. You can't help it, but he's, he's still here. Him and Steven's like a married couple. Yeah, they're like two, two queens together. It's very, very campy. Thank you guys so much.